In this video, we will explore step by step how to implement the amount control field in GenCodex, including setting integer values, defining minimum and maximum ranges, handling multiple currencies, configuring decimal points, rounding values up or down, and ensuring nearest value ascertainment. By the end of this guide, you'll be able to fully configure the amount control feature to meet any input requirement seamlessly. GenCodex Amount Control Full Setup and Customization Guide Adding the Amount Control Field To begin, we first need to add the Amount Control Field to our form. In GenCodex, navigate to the Tools menu, then go to the Comments section under Form Input Fields. Here, you will find the Amount Control option. Simply drag and drop it onto your form or page where users will input numerical values. This field is specifically designed to handle structured numerical input, making it perfect for applications dealing with monetary values or statistical data. Integer input Once the amount control field is placed, the next step is to ensure that the values entered are treated as integers. To do this, go to the field options and select the integer field setting. This setting automatically converts any input into a whole number, preventing the user from entering fractions or invalid values. Defining minimum and maximum input range To maintain controlled numerical input, it is essential to define a minimum and maximum range. This prevents users from entering values that are too low or too high, ensuring consistency across data entries. In the field options, locate the min and max range settings. Enter the minimum amount that should be accepted. When a user enters a value below or above these thresholds, Genkodex will display an error message, prompting them to enter a valid amount. This is particularly useful for financial transactions where only specific ranges are permitted. Make sure to test different inputs to confirm that invalid values are restricted while valid values are accepted smoothly. Round off. There are three ways to round off any amount, upward, downward, or to the nearest value. Additionally, we can define a rounding base, such as 10, 100, or 1000. For example, if we enter 48 and round to the nearest 10, the result will be 50. We can also set a limit within the rounding base. If we choose 9 as the limit for rounding to the nearest 10, then an input of 41 will round down to 40. Enabling different currency formats A powerful feature of amount control is its ability to handle multiple currencies with real-time format adjustments. This is useful for applications that cater to international users. To enable this feature, go to the currency format settings within the field options. Select the currencies you want to support, such as USD, Dollar, EUR, Euro, JPY, Yen, GBP, Pound, and others. Additionally, you can add a prefix and suffix to ensure clear identification of currency formats. A prefix, such as $100 for USD, will appear before the amount, while a suffix like 100 Japanese Yen will appear after the amount. This makes it easier for users to recognize the currency they are working with. Setting decimal precision. For transactions that require decimal values, GenCodex allows you to define both minimum and maximum decimal points. This ensures numerical precision, particularly in fields dealing with pricing, tax calculations, or financial data. In the field settings, specify the minimum decimal places required. For instance, setting this to 2 will ensure that users always enter values in the format 10.00 or 250.75, even if they initially input 10.1. The system will automatically adjust it to the correct decimal structure. Similarly, defining a maximum decimal point prevents excessive decimal values. If set to 4, Users can input values like 100.1234, but not 100.1245. This prevents inconsistencies in calculations and maintains formatting integrity. Once this is set, test different inputs to confirm that the values adhere to the correct decimal structure. 
Thank you for watching the Gencodex demonstration.